Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So here in the preview server of Module 29, we can get to week 4 of the new campaign, Mountain of Flame. This allows us to obtain some new items, including these new Greater Fiend Slayers. You can already get the lesser ones, and I want to test out what overload should you be using then in, say, the new dungeon. As you do have other ones, potentially might work. Demon Slayer and Elemental Slayer. So again, at this point, we have four weekly quests. So we simply just need to hand those in. The Heroic One, the Shadowfire Cavern, the Fireguard Fortress. And then we also have the Activities One, which we are 96%. But we just go around and kill everything and that's the quest completed. We now should be able to claim our milestone for reward. Checking here, we can indeed get our pack of companion upgrade tokens, 50 of them. Now, you don't obtain the pack, you just obtain the tokens directly. You can, of course, move them via a shared bank. But at this point, we do unlock in the campaign store the ability to now purchase the artifact. All we need is a few more relics and we can do so. You just need 400 of these trinkets, 75 of these coins, and yes, 100 of these relics from the lockdown event. So you can grab yourself that. Unfortunately, it is getting fixed, as I mentioned in my previous video, and it will only be good for using as a secondary artifact like we have here for the 1800 item level and the stats just be aware you can purchase that artifact directly from other players as it does drop from the heroic encounters i believe it is just the major ones but i have yet to test out but the price is pretty high maybe it will drop lower but the campaign as of now is the cheapest place to get it and then we will also be able to purchase these greater overloads. So you'll be able to get the 10% additional damage against demons, devils, and fiends, and the ward giving you damage resistance against them. We could already use the lesser ones, but they're at 8%. Now, additionally, you will also be able to purchase the new artifact neck and waist pieces for the tank set directly here, but at a cost. I mean, if you can't run the dungeon much, you can just play advanced and get that currency and then purchase it at 150,000 astral diamonds. I will say, though, this set will probably go down in price over time, depending on the de demand and I guess how many people can actually run the dungeon. It's pretty challenging, even on advanced right now. So there might not be that many successful runs and therefore not so many of them being sold on the auction house. And yeah, the set has been dropping in price 430k. And this is the first of week, so be aware of that, which means it will undoubtedly drop probably to like 100k and it probably won't be worth buying it here at all. The artifact, same. They're trying to sell it for a million, which looks okay right now because people are selling it for that much. But again, you're going to farm the dungeon more and that artifact is going to go down in price. Although it is an artifact that is going to have higher demand because people will again want it for the stats and is also useful as primary giving the targets hit the debuff effect very good for artifact calls. But let's jump over to those Slayer Overloads, purchase one and get it tested. Also, let's compare it versus the demon one. Because if you check the wording on them, you can see the demon one is only against demon type enemies, whereas the fiend one is against demons, devils, and fiends. Therefore, there must be some distinction as what is a demon and what's not, because this overload has the additional text of devils and fiends. Therefore, the demon one most likely does not actually affect those. And so let's have a look what in the new dungeon is considered as such we'll jump in layer of the mad dragon in most situations you can just be very safely running with rage of flames and elvis precision and not worry so much about these slayers but well, let's just quickly slot in the demon slayer here and if we hit this hound who's could be a demon we can see that we're not gaining any damage effect 
from our Slayer. You can see on the log here, the Hound is receiving damage from the Cloud of Steel and the Lightning Flash, but it's not considered a demon for the sake of the Demon Slayer. We can jump in here, hit everything with, say, an encounter power, and we can probably kill everything as well. And we can have a look at these different enemies. So we have the Aranese, damage incoming, no Slayer there. The Spine Devil, damage incoming, no Slayer either. So all of these are not considered demons. And that's very likely the same for everything in this dungeon. None of it being tagged as a demon. If we go and then slot in the Greater Fiend Slayer, we should see it work. I'll go up here, interact with this. We can just kill these imps and we can see looking at their incoming damage. We do indeed see the Fiend Slayer right there. All of them are considered fiends in terms of the damage gain from the Slayer. Even looking in game right here, you can see we hit with our physical damage from our shadowy opportunity, which was from our smoke bomb. And then we've dealt 10% of that with the Fiend Slayer. Keep in mind, these Slayers will only trigger from your actual encounter power hits and your actual at will hits and your actual daily power hits. None of the extra triggered effects, which means they're not as effective as you they might appear. They will say 10%, but it's an additional 10% and only affecting those ability types. So anything that's like Shadow of Opportunity, it's not going to trigger off it. Same with your mount power. None of these are actually going to get any benefits. Also your belt item. Therefore, it's not a true 10% gain to your character. And therefore, if you were to use Rage of Flames, that could equate to like basically the same amount of damage, if not more in some situations. Like this is going to affect your belt item. It is going to affect your artifact. It is going to affect like shadowy opportunity. And it is going to affect your mount power and your enchanter's hex and all of those extra uh, like damage outputs, including life lessons. So you do gain, depending on the class, quite a lot of damage that is not actually from at wills encounters and daily powers thus making these not that valuable but let's quickly test out elemental slayer some of you might be curious about that elemental slayer is against just elemental type enemies so that would be like the fire archons in the new zone anything linked pretty much with elemental evil or like your fire cultists or something like that but just having a look at these guys, I'll just kill them and we'll check if we get any benefit from the Slayers against these guys. But I highly doubt it, as again, they are devils and fiends, not demons. And then they are yeah, most likely not elementals too, that makes no sense. We have a look at the damage log here, this a loser, you can see, never got anything from the elemental Slayer. And uh, yeah, that's going to be proving the same across all of these. So I may as well quickly get to the first boss and we can check just Demon Slayer and uh, Fiend Slayer again. But like I said, I don't rate any of these Slayer enchantments all too highly. You can use the Ward ones then as a tank, giving you that damage reduction. Unfortunately, they don't have the effect of the stronghold ones where if a healer used it, they would be able to say, give that damage reduction to anybody they heal. I will just record my damage output and we will just get through all of these enemies and we'll see how much say that fiend slayer will actually do for us. So we have arrived where the first boss is. We can have a look, we done some damage here and ultimately fiend slayer was 3% of our damage. That is why I don't rate these overloads very highly. Only 3% because that's the like split from class features and our actual abilities. Like Shadowy Opportunity is our biggest contributor to damage. We're using our other abilities to augment that and make the most of it. Like Spine Devil's Influence, another ability which is not an at will encounter or daily, also gives us a load of damage. So for Rogue particularly, it doesn't really matter in multi-target to use this Fiend Slayer. You can very simply just stay with your Rage of Flames, no problem. Of course, 
if you want to maximize your damage output and can already uh, like have those stats maxed out then absolutely feel free to use a rage of flames and this fiend slayer but if we're going to single target we will have more focus on our encounter powers and our daily powers actually dealing like damage themselves so we may notice a bit more of an increase in its effect so we'll slot again the fiend slayer here just make sure this boss that it actually works against it we'll check demon slayer as well so going in here facing misrael I do have some imps to beat up so i will use a little bit of multi-target this is not so easy when the boss can one shot you but we will just be able to see does the fiend slayer work first we can have a look at the boss the damage incoming and yes the fiend slayer does affect her and i would assume also those imps like the hellfire imp that we killed there indeed the fiend slayer will affect her and if we look at like say the percentage split fiend slayer again like two percent of our damage output but that was kind of very skewed log since our daily power is contributing so much there we didn't really get to do much damage before we died but let's quickly check say demon slayer then I do not believe it will actually work, but we can try checking the damage incoming. No, it does not work. So ultimately for the first and second boss of this dungeon, you want to have a fiend slayer if that's what you want to be using in these types of overloads. Again, I would just prioritize a rage of flames. It's going to affect all of your abilities versus the slayer only affecting those like at wills encounters and daily powers specifically and a lot of classes have extra damage from other effects and therefore it's not as beneficial particularly on rogue and other damage over time classes and of course if you want to save the astral diamonds from using a rage of flames this is also still very good another question you might have is if you can stack them can you stack lesser with greater let's have a look we will get the lesser one we will slot this one in here. We will just attack a little bit with our Atwills and then they can kill me. There we go. And we can look quickly here. And it does indeed seem to be working. They do stack together for every hit of, say, Cloud of Steel. We're getting an 8% of that hit with the Lesser Slayer and a 10% of that hit with the Greater Slayer. So that's interesting to note. Yep, if you want to use two of them, absolutely feel free. But again, I would recommend a Rage of Flames instead of the lesser one, rather than stacking them like that. But it's a possibility. And just keep in mind that the timing of those, the duration of the overloads, it might not be worth your campaign currency because the lessers are only an hour, greaters are only two hours, and like Rage of Flames and Devil's Precision are 10 hours at their maximum. So they last for a very long time. They're like 10 times greater than a lesser one and five times greater than the greater overloads. But that's good news. If these slayers work, then it's very likely the wards work too. And make sure to use them as a tank if you want to get that extra survivability. Unfortunately, as a healer, there's just nothing really to use. As going into the last boss, undoubtedly the Dragon Slayer will work there. The Dragon ones you'll get in your stronghold here, at least if you're in a guild and one that has leveled up enough to have the merchant. And you'll just, yeah, purchase these Dragon Slayers. It's 10% damage, same as the other ones, only affecting at wills encounters and daily powers. And then there's also the awards you can use, which is really nice because you can also have them as a healer. Allies healed by you will gain the benefits of this enchantment for 10 seconds. I really would appreciate if they actually added that to the newer ones that we're getting through these campaigns as it would give something for healers to go for. Because right now it's pretty much, yeah, well, healers, there's none of them to get. You don't need wards. You're generally a bit tankier than a damage dealer to begin with anyway. And you don't need slayers because your damage is next to meaningless. Be aware though that these only bind on equip to your character. 
So you will be able to sell them on the auction house to make some Astro Diamonds if you grind the currency. It is a bit of a grind because the only thing to do in that zone to get that currency is first of all your quests. And they get pretty tedious once you've done the weeklies. And after that it's just heroics. And you're only getting 10 for the small heroics and 20 for the big heroics. So it's quite the substantial grind. And I personally would like to see the value of these overloads being increased. Rather than being 10%, they should be 15% to compensate with the difference of not affecting certain abilities like your mount, like your belt item, like your boons. These things do add up to contributing to your total damage resulting in just like Rage of Flames being better as we already said many, many times. So having these Slayers at 15%, the lesser could be 10%, would make them at least a bit more competitive and useful in the new zone. It would be something I would recommend then to go for as otherwise you would be losing out on a little bit of extra damage you could otherwise obtain. As it is now, I'm just going to stick with my Rage of Flames, thank you very much, and my Devil's Precision, and that's it. There's not much point in me going for these overloads which don't last very long and can just be a, another expense that I don't really need to spend. And on top of that, doesn't actually contribute to de me dealing more damage. So once again, thanks for watching. A special thank you to all these channel members for your extra support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.